Hey, Gavin, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, good to meet you uh, virtually, like we're doing things these days. Um, first opportunity with this team, uh, but not your first NHL game, obviously. How how excited are you to, to uh, show what you can do with this team? Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I've worked very hard the past the past two years to get back to a moment like this. Um, I now have a family uh, kid on the way, so it means a little more, um, but I'm very excited. How, uh, how helpful has it been to be around this team as you have been and, and kind of pick up a little bit about how they work systems, playing in Cleveland, obviously, you learn a little bit about the systems there and, and just knowing the, the, the Blue Jackets way of playing hockey. Yeah, you know, um, I think the biggest thing is, uh, is being aggressive, um, playing hard, playing for the team. And uh, I mean, uh, things are a little different here. Um, Cleveland, but I've played 10 games down there, kind of figured out the systems and uh, have been on a bit of a roll and I'm excited for this opportunity. How, how important will communication be? Uh, we just had Seth in and I was asking Seth about, you know, conversations on the ice, on the bench, whatever, as the game goes on to help you feel more comfortable and assimilate a little quicker. Yeah, um, fortunately, I played a handful of games with Andrew Peak, my uh, D partner tonight. Um, so I think we have a very good connection there. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to play with guys like Seth Jones and uh, Delzato and other guys like that. Um, excited to learn from them, uh, see how they operate on the ice. But at the same time, it's uh, it's another game. You got to communicate a lot. That's, that's the most important thing about hockey and uh, go out there and have fun. Great. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any more questions for Gavin? Okay. We'll go to Just Svoboda with BlueJackets.com. Go ahead, Just. Uh, thanks, Gavin. Uh, you did mention kind of being on a little bit of a, a roll there uh, in Cleveland, uh, 10 points in 10 games. Uh, just what did you feel like was maybe working for you as things were coming along there uh, down at the AHL level? Um, yeah, it was a great group of guys down there. Coaching staff was good, uh, but I just felt like I was playing my game. Um, the D coach down there, Steve McCarthy, was uh, playing me a lot, giving me a lot of opportunity, and uh, I was striving on that. And uh, I feel like I'm, I'm playing my best hockey right now, and I'm, I'm very excited to, to step into this Columbus lineup tonight. Yeah. What would you say is your best hockey? Uh, what, what, what should fans maybe expect, or what should we expect to kind of see out of you tonight? Um, honestly, I just like to make plays out there. Uh, I don't want the puck to die on my stick. Um, I want to get the puck up to the forwards, forwards uh, sticks and make plays and uh, get shots on net. I like to shoot the puck. If there's a lane, I like to get it, get it on net. Um, you can cause uh, corruption in front, and good things happen when the puck gets to the net. And you mentioned a good group of guys down in Cleveland. That team's on a roll right now. I think they've won six in a row. And I don't think you've been there for all of them. But just what did you feel like was kind of working down there right now and just kind of leading to that success out of that team? Yeah, it's it's a very weird year this year. Uh, I think we've <laughs> had more canceled practices than actual practice days with all the COVID, the COVID concerns and, and the positive tests. But uh, it's a resilient group down there. Um, they kind of make light of every situation. They have fun. Um, and... Uh, they go out when game time happens, they go out and play hard and play for each other. And I think that's something that they're, they're really successful with. Awesome. Thank you. Good luck tonight. Yep. Thank okay. you. We'll go to Brian Hedger with the Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Gavin, I, you kind of went right where I was going to go there, but uh, you know, obviously a lot of challenges with the COVID stuff and everything down in the AHL this year, but I mean, has it been fun? Have you guys had a lot of fun down there? I mean, yeah, it's just every day you wake up, you wake up uh, to your phone every day with some sort of message that you have no idea what to expect. Uh, canceled practices, positive COVID tests, other teams' positive COVID tests. So you really never know. But I think something that's that's helping them and, and us when we were, when I was down there is that you just make light of the situation. You laugh about it. It's out of our control. Um, but I mean, uh, it is a group of good guys. Everyone's so friendly down there. They took. They, I've only played ten games down there, but they've they've taken me under and, and really brought me into that team. And I'm very grateful for that. How big has the fact that you guys have been winning been contributing to that? Oh yeah, that's obviously obviously very important. Uh, it's always good to win. Um, puts a smile on everyone's face and, and makes going to the rink the next day a lot easier. Thank you. Yep. All right. Any more questions? Okay, we'll go back to Dave Metzel. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I just I I'm curious. Uh, you said you know you're a family guy now, baby on the way, and that type of thing. Um, how, how does that change your approach to being a, just a pro? Uh, because you are, you're growing into the game and you're obviously growing as a, as a young man as well. Yeah, I feel like uh, I was always a late bloomer hockey-wise. I feel like I'm still getting better every day. Um, but yeah, like the, the cliche saying, you gotta, you gotta put food on the table for your kid. Um, I mean, this is, uh, it's, it's such a cool opportunity. And, and I was telling my wife yesterday when, 
when there is a baby on the way, something, something in her really does help you. And I'm really excited for that. Yeah. You expect that to be a motivator tonight from first shift on? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I mean, at the same time, yeah, I think psychologically it, it really will help me. And, uh, I'm, I'm so grateful for this opportunity and for what Columbus has done to me. Um, I came here with, with the idea that, that if I worked hard and, and earned this opportunity that I was going to get it. And, uh, I'm really excited for that. And I think, um, I'm just going to go play my game out there and uh, I've, I've been here before and I hope to uh, create more opportunities in the future. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Well, congrats on tonight and on the baby coming. Thank you, you very much.